Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the Super Bowl here in the New York Jets franchise in season number four. We meet in the Super Bowl with the Green Bay Packers, who defeated the New York Giants, who were in the Super Bowl last season. So both number two seeds make it into the Super Bowl as we defeated the Steelers, Bengals, and Titans to get into this game. And you can just see the playoff bracket here. They did update this in Madden and brought it in. And it's a really small feature, but I kind of like the layout. Now, we face Aaron Rodgers. Not just Aaron Rodgers. 39-year-old, last year of his contract, Aaron Rodgers. He could possibly retire or resign or move on to another team depending on the outcome of this game now the packers do have two 1000 yard receivers in devin funches who led them in catches yards and touchdowns and they also have Devonte adams who is 98 overall at this point in his career and he had seven touchdowns during the regular season as well marquez valdez scantling is there still and they have some other good weapons as well now, on the defensive side, Kenny Clark, Preston Smith, and Zadarius Smith were the only guys to have over two sacks. So I think this could be something that we could take advantage of. And they obviously have a decent secondary, but the guy that we want to stay away from in the secondary is Jair Alexander. Six-year pro out of Louisville. He is now 96 overall, superstar X-Factor, one of the best man-to-man -man co cover cornerbacks in the league, and he also has the speed to keep up with anybody. Now, opposite of him, we might want to pick on Witherspoon a little bit. He's not the greatest cornerback, so we might want to throw to the left side. So Denzel Mims will be lined up on the left side quite a bit if Jair Alexander does not follow him. So here we are in the Super Bowl for the first time in this series at U.S. Bank Stadium. Let's get this game underway as they do kneel the opening kickoff and out comes Aaron Rodgers playing maybe his last game as a Packer. And he had 34 touchdowns, seven interceptions as a 39-year-old, 4,200 yards. He's looking for his second Super Bowl win of his career. This is only his second Super Bowl appearance. So here he starts out under center this time. Play action fake. He's going to throw to left side, and he's got Matt Breida out of the backfield, who is going to be their running back. Remember, the Dolphins traded him to the Packers, and that's going to be almost a first down. It's a gain of 10 yards. So now at the 35, quick throw to the right side. It's Devontae Adams, and he gets to about the 41-yard line tackled, and it's a first down, the first catch by Adams. So handoff up the middle, and that's a nice play by Quinnen Williams. Now, you notice the update. I believe they took it off the field. You no longer see the star under your players. So that's why you see them under the Packers and not us. As Quinnen Williams is a superstar player, you would normally see that star under him as he got the stop in the backfield. So now third and six now from the, their own 45. Rodgers moves. He just throws it that way, and he throws it out of bounds. And I'm not sure if he threw that one away or that was just a inaccurate throw, but nonetheless, it's a punt. So here's Chance Tyree. Man, he has had a shaky playoffs. I believe he's just been winning despite his poor play, but I can't lie, he's been winning. So I guess winning cures all. So here they start out inside their five. Here's a handoff, Dwayne Lincoln only picks up a gain of one, bringing it to a second and nine. So here's Tyree from the shotgun throws the left side, and that is Malik uh, Ty Malik Tyree. Oh my goodness, Mar Tariq Macklin for the first down, and he gets to about the 15 yard line. So first and 10, stretch play call. Dwayne Lincoln has the speed, he gets the edge, and it's a gain of 17 for Dwayne Lincoln. Nice run that time, picking up the first down. Great blocking by our offensive line. So we come out here with Bunch to the right side from the 33. Tyree throws in a traffic, and it's caught. Tariq Macklin holds on to that one. That was maybe an ill-advised throw on that one, but he picks up the first. So draw play call. Dwayne Lincoln, another first down run. He's across the 50 now. Three big runs by Dwayne Lincoln, and that is going to get us to the 42. 
So the Packers stack the defensive line up front, and here is a throw across the middle, and that is going to be caught by Jamison Crowder. He gets to the 22. Now we're inside a field goal range. His first catch of the game is a gain of 20 yards. Handoff this time. Lincoln avoids Kenny Clark, who got in right away, and he gets to the outside a little bit. Hits the hole hard for a third and four. So now at the 16, once again, throwing the wide open route. That is Deshaun Purnell, his second season. He picks up the first down to about the seven. Now it's first and goal. So we lose two on first down, bringing it to a second and goal now. Tyree in the pocket, moves. He's going to try to buy some time. He's going to throw it at the last second, and he's got Macklin, and he picks up a couple of yards, bringing it to a third and goal. So Tyree now. In the pocket, throws off his back foot, and it's caught. Touchdown, Jamison Crowder. He is in, and that one gets us on the board first. 7 nothing here. Nice 95-yard drive put together by Chance Tyree. He looks a lot better here in the Super Bowl. So now the Packers start off their next possession after that long drive, handing off to Matt Breida, stopped in the backfield by C.J. Mosley. So now second and 11 now, another handoff and another stop in the backfield. This time it's the rookie, Von White, on the stop. So now third and 12 as the second quarter starts. Throw across the middle. It's caught by Devin Funches, but stopped by Blake Cashman. And they get to about the 25, and it's going to be a punt. So now here we come out with our second possession offense. Here's a throw out of the backfield is Deion Carter Jr. He picks up the first down on that one as we eventually get it to the 50 now. Eight to go. Throw to the right side. Here is a catch, and that is Deshaun Purnell, his second catch of the game. How about Chance Tyree? Eight for eight to start this game. A drastic change from the last few games. Handoff, Deion Carter, big time run to about the 30, and it's a first down. Gain of 17 to the 30. We're inside of Chris Topps Evenos field goal range now. So seven minutes to go here in the first half. Tyree tries to step up. Nobody was open. He didn't want to force anything. It's a sack. Christian Wilkins in the backfield now playing for the Packers. So third and 16, Tyree in the pocket, throws into traffic, Mims, and it's going to be knocked away. He tried Witherspoon on that one, incomplete pass as Ivanov does kick the long field goal and is going to be good. It's now a 10-point lead here for the New York Jets. So now at, our own at their own 34 this time, the Packers throw into the left side. He's going to find his tight end. That's Aaron Rodgers. He is going to find Deguera, I believe that is. And he picks up about a gain of seven. So handoff this time. Quinnen Williams on the stop. And look at this. Matt Breida can't even get over one yard in this game. Five rushes, negative five yards. So three and a half to go here in the first half. Here is Tyree under center. Play action fake after the punt. Moving to the right side. He's going to take it out of bounds and run down by Preston Smith. 317 left now. Third and seven from our own 23-yard line. Let's see if Chance Tyree can move the chains here as now he moves to the right side. He throws on the run and open man, and he's going to miss Tariq Macklin. That was a wide open Macklin. He could have been running for a while. So now under two minutes left, we give Rodgers one more possession, throw to the right side, and it's caught. And that is going to be Adam Humphreys on the catch. He is now a Green Bay Packer. As now they heard up to the line here, no huddle offense. Quick throw. It's Devontae Adams. He's got his second catch of the game, and that goes for a first down. Rodgers is 10 of 11 to start this game. So they eventually get it inside the 15. Rodgers moves to the left side. Second and six, and he can't get away. He puts it on the ground. Quinn and Williams strips it out of his hands. And it looks like he may have been a little bit gassed on that play. He was not running fast at all. So third and 13, quick throw. Brita breaks the tackle and can't get two. The first down on that one, and the Packers will run this clock down and settle for three. And that is how this one goes into halftime. We, our defense has been lights out here in this game so far. Besides that last drive, 
It's now a 10 to three game. Chance Tyree may have missed an opportunity to put some points on the board before half. So now we start the second half. We are one half away from a Super Bowl victory. Here is Tyree. He unloads on the first play and it's gonna be caught. Denzel Mims with the grab. How about him? What a season he's had. He led the NFL in yards, led them in touchdowns, and look at this catch in the Super Bowl. Went up one-handed over two defenders, brought it down with two, and now we're on the 13-yard line here for a second and nine. Tyree moves to the right side, looking for somebody to get open. He takes it himself and kind of tiptoes along the sideline, and they actually say he stepped out at the seven. It looks like he maybe went out at the three. So now we throw on a third and three, and it's an interception. That was supposed to be a post route to the back of the end zone near the stanchion. And instead, near the goal post, I should say, should say instead, Witherspoon comes up with the interception. The first mistake made of the game by Chance Tyree. So now here's a, a handoff on the next drive, and that is Matt Breida, but no getting around Quinton Williams. He's got that new contract as well. So throw to left side on the second and 11, and it's caught by Devin Funches. But you can see this defense is not giving up many big plays. So third and six, here's a dump off pass, and it's incomplete. It looks like Brita was not looking for that one, and it's gonna fall to the ground here. And we do force the punt, so we do get possession back. The turnover doesn't hurt us. So now 10 to three, here's Tyree backing onto the field. He's gonna move to the right side and throw to Deion Carter, who's open. Nice catch by him out of the backfield. It's a gain of 15 yards. He is such a good pass catcher out of the backfield. So handoff, Dwayne Lincoln on the stretch. And now Green Bay's defense is starting to clam down here on this running attack as we get it to about the 49 here for a second and 11. The Packers send a blitz, and it gets to Tyree. It's picked up by Dean Lowry, and it looks like they're going to take it to the house. It's a tie ball game here in the Super Bowl. How about this Packers call on that one, sending the blitz at the right time, and they get to chance Tyree, a strip sack, and a scoop and score. It's 10 to 10 here in the third quarter. So here's Tyree now facing more pressure. He gets hit on that throw, but Denzel Mims has got the speed to get to that pass, and he picks up the first down. What will we do without Denzel Mims? So first and 10 now, here's Tyree in the pocket, breaks contain, throws deep down the right side, and it's caught, it's Mims again. Inside the 10 now, first and goal, Anytime you have a linebacker on your best receiver, you take that chance no matter what, and Tyree trusted his best guy. So here's Tyree, throw to the end zone, deflected, and that falls incomplete. Maybe just a split second earlier, that was a touchdown. So at the 10 now, third and goal, Tyree running out of time. He dumps it off short. It's Denzel Mims to the six, and it's gonna be a field goal here, 13 to 10 lead going into the fourth quarter. So here is Rodgers. Let's see if he's got some magic here. His first pass out two. That's going to be caught. And a lot of yardage on that one. And that's going to be to about the 49-yard line. That is his tight end, uh, Cox, on that one. And that picks up a first down as they throw once again across to the 40-yard line. That is caught by Adam Humphreys this time. So first and 10 now, eight minutes to go here at the 40. Quick throw to the right side, another catch. And that's Humphreys again picking up a first down to about the 28. They only need three points to tie this game up, but they're thinking touchdown this one. Rodgers is in the zone. Here's a handoff this time. Breida puts on a move on Blake Cashman, breaks a tackle, and does eventually get taken down by Marcus May at the seven-yard line. So second and one, Rodgers moves to the right. He's not going to throw, but he eventually throws it at the last second and throws it away. He gets hit hard on that one as well. So third and one, Rodgers out of the pocket. He's going to try to move, and look at this. He's going to try to take it this time, and he is stopped by Blake Cashman at the seven. Fourth and one, and they will line up to go for it. No aggressiveness from the CPU. They just tie the game up and put the ball back in Chance Tyree's hands. 
So they maybe trust their defense and trust that Chance Tyree's going to have some accuracy issues here as we get it to the 31. So now third and five this time. Throwing across the middle. It's an open man. And Chance Tyree misses Mims, who had a step. And now we put the ball in the hands of Aaron Rodgers with three minutes to go. Could this be another heartbreak here for the Jets? As now Rodgers gets it to the 37 here. Two-minute warning. Throw to the right side. And looks like Breda was not looking for it again. That is the second time in this game his running back was not looking for it, and we get the punt right back. So under two minutes left after the first down catch by Jamison. Handoff. This is Deion Carter. He gets to about the 45. A nice gain of six yards. His clock continues to run this time. Tyree dumps it off short. Tariq Macklin guarded by J.R. Alexander. And it's a gain of five, bringing it to a third and in inches. Handoff, Dion up the middle. He's got enough for the first, and this clock continues to run. 40 seconds left. Tyree dumps it short. Macklin, he's going to get out of bounds and stop the clock at the 42. We need about five more yards to get into Chris Stops Ivanov's field goal range. And now that brings it to a second and five. Here is Tyree on the run. He's going to take it himself, and he has the first down yardage and more. And he gets to about the 34. Now we just need to get closer into field goal range. First pass out to the right side. First and 10. And it's room to run by Deion Carter to the 17-yard line. Now all we had to do is get the ball to the middle of the field. Dwayne Lincoln, you've been here before last year versus the Chiefs. Don't fumble. Hand off to the middle. He falls down at the 15. We milk this clock down to three seconds left. And in comes Chris Stops Ivanov to win us the game. They call a timeout to ice us, but will it work? The kick is up, and it is good. The Jets bring home the Super Bowl. How about this playoff run? Every single game decided within three points. Four wins it took to bring home the Super Bowl to East Rutherford. How about this? Man, this Jets team has just been a roller coaster of a team. I, I, I mean, Chance I read the accuracy issues is this postseason has been incredible. But then in the Super Bowl, 72%. I mean, you just can't make this up. He did throw that interception, but honestly, that final drive he put together, the nice clutch throw to Deion Carter, he did miss a couple of clutch ones down the stretch. But our defense came up with stops and let us put us in that position to win a very low scoring Super Bowl, 16 to 13. Rodgers may be done in a Packers uniform. You never know. Chance Tyree had himself a game. But how about just our defense? I mean, just balling out, stopping Rodgers, this passing attack. Devontae Adams couldn't do anything. Devin Funches was nowhere to be seen. I mean, this was just a great defensive performance from our team. And we come away with the Super Bowl, Super Bowl victory. Is Denzel Mims, I mean, can you say enough about this guy? Four catches, 118. He, we just took advantage. That that second half play, the start of the second half, that was just incredible. And double, double coverage going up and getting it. And now we have some answers some questions to really answer here in the offseason. I mean, what are we going to do with all these contracts? I mean, you got to think about it. Levi Wallace, Ashton Davis. We did extend Quinton Williams and Denzel Mims. But, I mean, we have some guys still to extend. And I don't think, I don't know if we're going to have enough room, to be honest. We'll have to see what happens here in the offseason. But we get the Super Bowl win. It feels very, very good. It feels very rewarding. And the run we had here in the playoffs definitely made it worthwhile so Denzel Mims actually wins best receiver that is the only non-rookie to win an award uh JP Holiday won defensive rookie of the year in the NFC and the AFC I should say so that was a pretty good uh season for us no big award winners besides Denzel Mims but I can't complain we come home with a Super Bowl victory so next episode, we will probably hop into the offseason. I usually recap seasons, but I'm just going to hop straight into the offseason. I'm very, very excited for the future of this team, too. 
and seeing what we do here building off of a Super Bowl win. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. How about those Jets? Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I've been working hard for a minute. The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it. The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition. But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention. It don't matter though. Yeah. And it don't even matter though. Nope. Hey, it don't even matter.